folks, you know my next guest from Fashion Police, Dancing with the Stars, and her family. Please welcome Kelly Osborne. <laughs> You know, I, I've met your dad, who I've never met you before. But we're related, so it's crazy that we've never met before. That's what I just found out. I've got this right here. Uh, I was handed this. Um, tell me what this means. It says, Ozzy Osbourne, <laughs> part Colbert, part Neanderthal. <laughs> and evidently, we are cousins in some yes, way. We what's, are. what's the story behind this? Well, you, I guess you both did the genealogy testing. Yeah, and, I, had, I did the uh, I did the uh, the genome test. Yeah. So my dad did it, and then they tested me and my brother, and it turns out that we come from the same like Neanderthal tribe. The three of all four of us do. Yes. Wow. Well. I came from my dad, so of course I did. Like you're like a long lost cousin from somewhere near the Black Sea. I think they said it was. Oh really? Yes. Uh, well, I'd love to see love the family see reunion you. here right now. <laughs> I love. Wait, can I see? You have a really, you have a really cool. You have the shade to the side of your head right now, and you've got tattoos. Do you mind if I point those sure. out? One side it says, if you can see this, can we get a shot of this oh, right here? Please don't tell me that's my text. Is there, texting what? Right now, sorry. Is that literally a text on the show? Yeah, no, it's from my dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> can you? What does it say? What does it say? Do you really want me to read it? If it's okay. Well, there's some swear words in it. Oh, good. Okay. Yep. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. Okay. Okay. Hi, spelled H-I-G-H. <laughs> Toddles. I just watched you on the telly. I thought you looked and sounded <laughs> awesome. I love you so much, and I am so proud of you. Dada. XXXX. Oh. So I'm um, like, oh, thanks, Dad. But my favorite thing ever is that he doesn't know that high is spelled H I. Go with what you know. I'm like, ha! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, please say hi back. Can you say no, hi yeah, back? Come on, let's go take Can you back. say hi back? Oh, right you know now? what we we'll do? Oh, wait. If I FaceTimed him right now, he would die. Oh, um, we, we could just send him a ahead. selfie. Do you want yeah. me to FaceTime him? Yeah, go ahead, FaceTime okay, him. Come on. Meanwhile, while you're doing that, while you're getting eyes on there, uh, I'll talk about your book, okay? You've got a new book called There Is No <laughs> Secret, all right? Letters from a Badass And bitch. it's Letters from a Badass Bitch. If he doesn't pick up now, I'm going to be like, you are a bitch, Dad. <laughs> like, mm hmm He's, he's going to be like, yeah? I didn't... Yeah, I call him Dad. Because I think it's really weird when adult... Because father. He's yeah, but father. it's weird when adult women call their father Daddy. Do you not think that? It's I've weird. never been one. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, okay. and in the words of my... He totally just ignored it. <laughs> in the words of my father, yet, is what he says. When anyone ever says, I've never, or I don't know, yet. You could be a father. No, no, I, I am a father. You. I've never been... That's what I'm saying. I've never been an adult woman, is what I, was, what I meant. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come here, come here, Back here. Okay? Stop. Hold on, hold on. Yet. <laughs> never, never say never. Uh, never say never. I'm very open-minded. I'm very modern. Um, uh, why write a book? You're 32. Mm -hmm. Why write a memoir now? What do you want us to know? It's more about the fact that I don't have the right to sit here and complain about my public perception or the way the media perceives me if I'm not going to stand up and show them who I am. Okay. And there's a lot of misconceptions, and I've been through so much in my short 32 years of living that people... And in don't... public, too, because from... Oh, yeah. How old were you when the show on MTV uh, started? I signed the contract for MTV when I was 15. And I'm... Wow. So that was like, so I'm not going to age myself. <laughs> and that's the show that started all of the celebrities' life equals entertainment. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys really did it. <laughs> if you hadn't been so damn entertaining, <laughs> oh I don't God. think I don't think it. W I think it would have worked. Now you say your dad. You, you say your dad is innocent, and I kind of believe you from the text we just got there. He 
is. And don't you remember when he screamed in your face? Yes, I do remember. <laughs> when, when, when we did the, the rally uh, to restore sanity. I missed my flight, and I was so angry that I missed that because it looked like so much fun. The first time I met your father, he didn't say a word to me. When I came in, he just sort of sat there as if I wasn't there. Oh, welcome. Okay, and, like, and your mother was there, and she was sort of speaking for him. But that's why he's genius, because he pretends like he has no idea what's going on. I thought he, he knows wasn't listening. everything. And I explained to him we wanted to have Cat Stevens come on to sing Peace Train, mm -hmm. and that he would interrupt with Crazy Train. And I'm explaining to him, I'm thinking none of this is sinking into him at all. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. We're completely uh, screwed. And I get to it, and at that point, you would probably come on, and you would, you know. No, this is when me and my mom go, Get out. <laughs> well, I said, like, at, after Cat Steven comes on, you would interrupt, you would, you would, you would yell the opening of, and he goes, Hold a bun! In your face? In my face. And I jumped out of my skin. <laughs> and I went, <laughs> You were listening the whole time. Yep. Can you, can you explain how this played into your childhood? <laughs> because here's your father from <laughs> Bark mean... at the Moon, his famous you, you album. You mean why like, no kids came to my birthday parties? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, my dad decided to play Three Little Pigs at one of my birthday parties. Actually, it might have actually been my sister's, my brother's, or my, like, it was one of ours. How old are you at this point? Probably about four. Four? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and you're playing, like... And my dad's like, oh, huff and up, huff and up, blow the house down. And he put us in the garden shed with all the friend, my friends, and every kid went insane and was crying, and my mom had to call all their parents, and they went home, and I was sat there being like, I don't get it, it's just Dada. <laughs> but, but wait, did he show up at the garden shed like this? Like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I wish he was my dad. He's your cousin. <laughs> he, oh, that's, that's not a good idea. Well, uh, the book is There Is No F***ing Secret. The young lady is Kelly Osborne. Kelly, thank you so much for being here. We'll be right back.